and welcome to Students of Gaming. This is uh, Professor Twain here, along with Professor KY. Hello. And I call him student, tell him, but he's more just like friendly observer. Hello. He's auditing the class. Yeah. Uh, KY and I felt like uh, having a friendly, well, professor's duel, not really a duel, but we, we wanted to crush this game together um, since we've both beaten it before, at least one time. Uh, mm-hmm. So, and we think we can get to it through it relatively fast. We want to throw some skill, I say skill loosely here, <laughs> runs on the channel every once in a while. Um, so, yeah, we, KY, why don't you, uh, you'd say this is your favorite Mega Man game, correct? Yeah, I don't have a ton of experience, but um, this, this was definitely my favorite. I played some of the other Mega Man Xs, um... And I just, I just happen to like this one the best. Uh, did, the best. Did you play any of the uh, Mega Man, any of the NES Mega Mans? Um, never, never finished them, but I, I dabbled a little bit. So this is the first one that you kind of really got into. Yeah, this is actually the first one I ever played. Tony, did you ever play any of the NES? Or I should say, what, what's your Mega Man experience? Uh, I played two. I think. What's the one where? You- I, I played the first and the second. The first one you only have six enemies, right? Correct. And then the second one you have eight. Yes. Maybe nine. The eight, eight. The, it, two is the first one with eight. And yeah. the actual traditional, which is now is basically the traditional title screen for the enemies. Picking okay, enemies. Yeah, those are the only two I played. Uh, I really like Mega Man. I just... Uh, not as much as you guys, I guess. I mean, two... <laughs> two's kind of... I won't say universally, but kind of widely considered to be the first um or like the best Mega Man that's well I really like the concept and the design of these games just the idea that you have to uh you don't have to fight enemies in an order but it can be very helpful right in strategy yeah in that sense and just the idea of having different elements and this game throws in this game throws in a lot uh, as a few additional twists that wait, the other game didn't, so wait, other this, didn't have. Is this the first board? Yeah, this game starts off... Uh, it doesn't start off with you just going to the enemy screen right away. Uh, you actually play kind of like the... Uh, pre, what would they sure. play? Prelude or something like that? Preamble. Preamble. <laughs> um, this kind of... Because there's actually... Prologue. St- a lot more story in here than... Well, okay. I'll, I'll take that back. There was some story in some of the later, later Mega Mans and SNES... But, like, it would be randomly kind of thrown about throughout the game. You'd be like, wait, there's a story to this? What the hell? Yeah, this one was definitely not more cohesive. Yeah, it's, it starts with a story right away that, instead of it throwing it being thrown in later. That letter at the beginning was written by Professor Light, right? Correct. It said T. Yeah. Light. What's his first name? Do you know? Thomas. I was going to say Thomas, but I didn't know. I actually don't know if that's true, but Future Twain, uh, if you, is it Thomas? Yeah, uh, your you name? I'll look it up. Sure. Um... So, yeah, th- that's that's one thing I'll notice right off the bat about this game. Uh, X is... This is Mega Man X. This isn't the original Mega Man. He is programmed to have much more of a free will than the original Mega Man had. Um, this is his base form, but this game adds a- uh, power-ups that you can get and even need in some circumstances um, that he gets. And it's like additions to his armor and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. You can jump up and down walls in this one. I don't. I don't think there was a, a nest Mega Man that had that. I always thought that was cool. Function. Yeah, it is. It's. It's so smooth too. Mm-hmm. Did his name change? You're gonna have to look that up because I'm looking on Wikipedia and it says Arthur Light. Oh well. I. It could have changed, or maybe it's a title. Oh, like actually, title Light. No wait. I'm dumb. This is something else. <laughs> no. DC Comics. Oh, okay. Doctor, Jeez, Doctor Light. <laughs> uh, so, um, this guy, they we're going to fight a guy that's, uh, he's actually unbeatable, which is a pain in the ass. But douche nozzle also. This is the first game that I ever played that had that kind of, like, unbeatable boss. It's Thomas. It's Thomas. It is, it is Thomas. Yeah, nice. nice. Okay, so what was X it said something about that in the letter? X is the the robot. Yes, it's, or yeah, the, it, the not robot, but 
That is X. Our, our our character is X. That's his name, yeah. His name isn't Mega Man? No, it's just X. Actually, his full name might be Mega Man, but it's it's it'd be, it's Mega Man X. Like like I said, he's not the original Mega Man. This is a right. this is a different being because he's programmed differently. This happened. This takes place after the Nest Mega Man's because Doctor Light is dead. Right. And this guy no power bar because why wouldn't he be immortal? Because he certainly is later. Wait. So are you supposed to lose this? Yeah, you're supposed to let that happen, and then he taunts you like a little bitch. <laughs> File. You wordless piece of crap metal. <laughs> Did you think you could defeat me? <laughs> what a douche. <gasps> Who's that? Bam. Bitch! Beast. Now that's the coolest fucking character in any Mega Man game, in my opinion. Hell yeah, dude. Zero's the man. Yeah. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. <laughs> Don't worry, you won't have to listen to that voice. That's like X's only line throughout the entirety of the game. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He's designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. Not, note that he said not more powerful, but as powerful as I am. Arrogant bastard. <laughs> I'll scout ahead and collect as much info on Sigma's fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. Zero, you're so cool! Teach Come me. back! Teach me. Did he have a cape? No. What was like that? hair? That's his hair. Yeah. He's got super long blonde yes. hair. That's the password system in this game. Oh. Um, all right. So you have a uh, frost penguin, a uh, fire mammoth, or flame mammoth, oil mammoth. Forgot the boomer kawanger. I think that's his name. Crystal chameleon, boomerang chameleon, stink or chameleon. stink chameleon. The heck. Uh, Spark mandrel. Nice. Eagle. Uh, Storm eagle. I don't remember something. Something armadillo. Like Tank armadillo. And... Uh, Homing octopus, I think. Something like that. Not Admiral Ekbar. Calamari. <laughs> Alright, so... This is where you're supposed to go first. If you're baller and super beast, you might go with him last, but... I am not so. <laughs> so we'll, we'll go with Chill Penguin first. Chill he, Penguin. He's super cool. Yeah, he is. Super, he is super cool. He's the only one that's like, I believe, has a actually has a weakness to the normal Buster Gun, which is why you start with him. Mm. Did you power that, that up? Yeah. So this is this game uh, carries on the tradition from I think four was the first Mega Man that had the power up. Oh. Except in this game, there are two power ups. Uh, you go from or there are two levels of the power up. There's the intermediate one, which is the green, and then the full one, when it turns kind of yellow there, shoots a blue nice. Hadouken. 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 As Capcom is, Capcom is wont to do on a consistent basis with its games. <laughs> and it, the other thing about going with this level first, you'll see you get your first power up, like you're forced to get it. It's not even like a secret thing. And it's a super useful one. Even though you go kind of, who wants to start with boots first? I'd rather start with my vest personally, but yeah, beggars can't be choosers because he is naked as a bitch right now in terms of special clothing. That's a pretty badass suit he's got, though. Yeah, that's true. If I, if any one of us had that suit, oh, we'd be. Oh, it's Doctor Light. So you've come. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. That's the difference between him and Mega Man. And I hoped the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. Interesting. Well, you got the emo music makes Funny. it super sad. Santa Claus over here. <laughs> but now it seems that you are destined to fight. I predicted the future because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you'll be able to increase your powers beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule 
and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Oops. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mega Man would be salty if uh, it was a setup. <laughs> yeah, step into this capsule. <laughs> fucking blows him up. Dude gets powered down for good. <laughs> yeah, so we get this awesome uh, dash move now. Ooh. That sucks. I needed that. Uh, so the also the uh, zero mentioned this. The enemy in this game is not Doctor Wily. It's Sigma. Sigma is, I believe, he's a robot himself, and he leaves the Mavericks. I wonder if that pissed off a lot of like Mega Man fanatics that they released this game and Wily was not your supreme enemy. Uh, ooh, shit. Good, good one. <laughs> um, it probably did initially, like, when the new- Because it, it probably- the news probably came out before the game was released. It might have happened, and then they realized how, like, baller the game was, because, like, this considered to be a really good game. Mm. They kind of- they could have just gotten over it from that, you know, like, oh, whatever, it's really good. So who cares? Oh, Is there anything it's... down here? I felt like there was, but for some reason... Sad. Nah. Sad panda, sir. I know I was disappointed when I played this and Wily wasn't the enemy. Like, I liked the game a lot, but I was like, it would have been cooler if Wily was the enemy and not Sigma. Was Dr. Light always that fat? Yes. Like, in all the games? Well, because, like... Portly gentleman. Yeah, he, it was, I, thought, I always thought it was implied that he was fat, but, like, on the NES, it's kind of hard to make it a dude super fat, because yeah. they were, like, especially... Mega Man avatars were all really small. Yeah. So they all kind of had the same girth. Even Roll had like this was the same width as them, and that's obviously <laughs> not the case. Boss battle? Yep. Oh, Got some cool oh, boss music. Chill penguin. So yeah, using the uh the um walls in boss battles is imperative. You're a hacker. <laughs> that's how the game was supposed to be played. Elite hack. Shit! Hack. <laughs> 1337. Hell yeah, dude. You already know. 1337. Um. Four. Yeah. Shake your head at me. Do you know uh, how Dr. Light died? Any theories, KY? Or, or is it no? Old age, I think. Yeah, I don't think he, like, got murdered or anything. It wasn't, like, uh, a massive heart attack. I mean, if it you were a been. fan of cheeseburgers and pizza, it's <laughs> possible. I mean, he looked like it was. <laughs> high cholesterol. Maybe like uh, his maybe doctor he's was a like, big fan of chocolate cake. Do you cake. think Doctor Light had a doctor? He probably did. <laughs> you think he was his own I doctor? Mean, he, you know, he's that's like not a good idea. He's like a you know research and robotics scientist. He's got to have a general practitioner that he goes to. <laughs> <laughs> a family doctor. Thomas, you got to cut down on the cheeseburger. <laughs> well, I mean, like like Becker. Becker had his friend that was his doctor. Oh yeah. I know that's not a show reference that everybody. Everybody expects to hear every day, but that show's fucking awesome. That show was cool. I never followed it that much, but well, I'll tell you a tale, maybe. All if right, you like it. All right. But next nice. episode, we'll show off shotgun ice. All right. His his Buster becomes a shotgun or a ice gauge. So next episode of Soon's Gaming, KY will take us to Spark Mandrill. Yes. And kick his ass. Oh boy. Till next time, class dismissed.